good morning children how are you all hope you all are fine welcome to your english class children today we are going to continue further our lesson number 11 dolls over the ages this is third session of this lesson and this is concluding session also so quickly let's see what we have uh, learnt earlier in the previous sessions a quick recap of that dolls are among the oldest creations of man archaeologists have found some dolls of clay wood bone and ivory from graves and other areas excavated so in previous sessions we have learned that archaeologists have excavated uh dolls and during their excavation they have found that in olden times in ancient era they used to make dolls using clay wood bone and ivory and the earliest ones were made from natural objects like sticks and stones Now in india the earliest dolls unearthed from the site of the indus valley civilization are as old as 5000 years so 5000 years ago also there were instances where dolls have been found in indus valley civilization also they used to use dolls so dolls have been unearthed there American Indians made a deity of wood and used it while imparting religious instructions. Some mothers made dolls of feathers and placed them in a cradle of a dead infant and carried the cradle about as though it had a living baby. Dolls of bone, ivory and mammoth teeth were very popular. these were dressed in hide and fur so this is about how american indian they used to uh use the dolls okay they used to make a deity statue of wood and then used it to impart religious instructions and they also used mammoth teeth they were very popular to make dolls okay and then they were dressed with animal skin and fur dolls of cloth wax and paper mache also became popular pottery dolls became common with the children of victorian england they had perfect fragile porcelain heads and rich royal clothing the children also had a sunday doll which was taken out of its glass case only on sundays so this is about the dolls of children of victorian england they had rich, little rich doll and a sunday doll also now doll ho- houses were elaborately set up with furniture pictures decoration pieces window drapes almost everything required in a luxurious home so this is about doll houses how they were decorated using all the decoration furniture pieces pictures and curtains and everything which is required in a luxurious home they used to uh decorate the doll house also using all that thing right now we are going to see how dolls were used in different countries so first is korea in korea a traditional doll was made out of a bamboo pipe and long grass were used to form the hair right this doll was not given any features on the face um but some white powder was rubbed over a small area and this white powder denoted that this is the face of the doll but no clear features were there on the face Some of the earliest Russian dolls were made out of pine cones and these were clothed with moss cloaks okay 
I hope you know what are pine cones. They are usually find, found in uh, hilly areas. When you go to Kullu, Manali and all, you see those uh, pine cones. So the Russian dolls, they were made of pine cones and they were clothed with moss cloak. They used to use moss and make cloak kind of thing. The cloak which uh, king and all wear. So that kind of cloaks were made using moss. And then they used to decorate the Russian doll. Another Russian doll is the Matryoshka doll, also known as Russian nesting doll or a Babushka doll. And it is a set of dolls of decreasing sizes placed one inside the other. You can see the picture of this doll on page 68 of your book. Okay, the dolls. Uh, array of decreasing sizes and they are a set or similar types of dolls but in decreasing sizes. A set of matryoshkas consists of a wooden figure which separates top from bottom to reveal a smaller figure of same sort inside which has in turn another figure inside it and so on. Right, so this is about Matryoshka, one doll, if you separate it from top and bottom, then a smaller figure will come and this is again of the same sort. Right, the first Russian nested doll set was carved in 1890 by Vasuli Zaisdashchin. The doll set was painted by the folk crafts painter Sergei Matyutin which was inspired by a set of Japanese wooden dolls representing the seven gods of fortune. So this is about that who had first carved this Russian nested doll or Matryoshka doll. Okay, so it is by Vasily and it was painted by Sergei. Okay, and they were inspired by the Japanese wooden dolls. And these dolls were in the set of seven. And this seven represented the seven gods of fortune. So, inspired by them, they made this set of Russian nested doll. Right? Let's see next one. Now comes the Japanese. Uh, how Japanese use their dolls. So we will learn about that. Okay. So the Japanese used dolls for various purposes. A primitive Japanese doll was made of sticks and strings covered with paper clothing. Some dolls were dressed and fed and treated as though alive. These dolls were given to mothers to ward off evil from their children. So, this Japanese people, they use doll for various purposes and the primitive Japanese doll, it was made up of sticks and strings and they used paper clothing to cover it. Okay, and these dolls were dressed and then they were fed and then they were treated as if they are alive okay and these dolls were given to mothers to ward off evil from their children so that no evil can come near their children that's why they were given to the mothers so this is about japanese now uh, what was the other way they used the doll let's see that so japanese women who desired to have a child presented dolls at a place of worship. The Japanese also had ceremonial dolls for boys and girls. These are not for playing but for simply exhibiting on a specific day. The boys exhibit their warrior dolls on March 3 and the girls festival falls on May 5. Right? So this is about Japanese doll when the Japanese woman they wanted to have a child uh, they were presented uh, they presented 
dolls at the place of worship and then there were ceremonial dolls for boys and girls also and they were not for playing these dolls were simply exhibited on specific days okay so the boys exhibited their dolls on march 3 and girls on may 5 now use of dolls in religious ceremonies continues till date we all know that dolls are used for various various purposes and for religious ceremonies even today scenes of the birth of baby jesus mother mary joseph and the shepherds these are called crib dolls and they are not meant for playing okay so this is another kind of doll ceremonial doll is one then there are crib dolls so there are variety of dolls all over the world if we see the dolls have very significant role in our lives and they are in such a, a large variety depending on the culture depending on the country where it is used and there are variety of uses also of this doll they are dressed in so many different ways like uh, the japanese they used paper to cover they don't use any cloth but they have paper to cover the dolls so in this way they are used differently by different countries and different cultures okay now we come to our indian culture now in india also the northern part of india has a different culture the southern part of india has a uh, altogether different culture so there is difference between them also the use of doll the kind of doll the look of the doll that differs from culture to culture place to place let's see the india uh, culture in northern india the story of krishna's birth janmashtami is depicted through clay dolls in bihar the story of shama chak festival is depicted through clay images in southern state of tamil nadu and in some parts of andhra pradesh and karnataka the festival of navratri is celebrated with the setting up of the dolls display gol uh, women set up decorated planks in the corner of the house these planks are decorated with dolls and displayed for 10 days these navratri dolls are arranged in several tiers usually 7 9 or 11 at the end of the festival the golu is dismantled and pegged for the next year now see children in our previous video we have discussed in detail about the story of krishna's birth and how clay dolls are used to depict that right again in bihar the shama chak festival during this festival they depict the whole story through clay images in tamil nadu andhra pradesh and karnataka during the festival of navratri they set up dolls and they display gol now we had discussed how the festival of navratri is celebrated in our state and how it is celebrated in some southern states of india so the difference between them and how they use dolls to display gol okay and then this gol it is uh set up in the corner of the house and when the festival is over that is after 10 days then they dismantle the golu and pack it for next year mind it these dolls are not to play they are to exhibit right like the ceremonial dolls this golu dolls are also used to uh, uh display to depict okay they are also uh used to decorate okay so after the festival is over this is dismantled and it is packed for the next year right let's see the next one uh in africa dolls were treated with magical powers there was a custom of giving an adult girl 
a doll which she kept with her till she had her first baby then she was given another doll which she kept till she had her second baby so this is about african culture how africans treated their dogs they used to treat it with magical powers they used to give some magical powers to the doll and then they would present it to an adult girl and the girl has to keep that doll with her till she gets her first baby and then she was given another doll which she keeps with her till she gets her second baby so this is about african culture how they use the dolls right now we will uh, see the culture of west indians the west indians used dolls for performing black magic see dolls are used for this purpose also it is not that only for good purposes or only for uh, religious purposes or only for playing display depicting the dolls are used no west indians they use their dolls for performing black magic pins and needles were stuck into the bodies of dolls and they were harmed with the belief that in this process the victim that is the enemy would suffer uh i think you would have watched this kind of in films and uh, uh, some tv serials how they use dolls for performing black magic okay uh pins and needles are stuck into the body of the dolls they harm the doll and pierce the body of the doll with pins and needles okay and what is the belief of doing so they believe that by doing so if they are harming the doll okay it is actually their enemy the doll they depict the doll as their enemy so by harming the doll they are harming their enemy if the, they pierce the pin or needle into the body of a doll then that in turn goes uh it, the pain is felt by the enemy that pain goes to the enemy the victim and he would suffer this pain because doll is uh, not a living being that it will feel the pain but due to their black magic their enemy would suffer the pain so for this purpose they use dolls some of the dolls were made of wax while some were made out of carved root grain a fruit paper clay branches or simply a piece of cloth stuffed with herbs now see they are using an altogether different thing to prepare a doll wax was a common thing so some of the dolls were made of wax so that was used by many different countries while well, some were made out of carved root now they would take root of a plant and carve it into a doll then they would take a grain a fruit paper clay branches okay branches of the tree and they would carve these branches into the doll or simply a piece of cloth stuffed with herbs now they would simply take a piece of cloth and stuff it with herbs different kind of herbs and they were used to make the doll now this is about the west indians even today craftsmen in assam and west bengal make dolls out of soft stems of a plant growing in marshy areas west bengal is known for terracotta toys and rajasthan market dolls of unbaked clay 
artists of Uttar Pradesh are masters of making brightly painted wooden dolls. Okay, so now this is again about our country and in our country how the dolls look, the material used for making this doll varies from state to state. Okay, now see craftsmen in Assam and West Bengal make dolls out of soft stems of a plant growing in marshy areas. Right now, West Bengal is known for terracotta toys. Rajasthan markets dolls of unbaked clay. Now, in Rajasthan, you get clay th uh, dolls, but and they are unbaked. They are sun dried. Artists of Uttar Pradesh are masters of making brightly painted wooden dolls. So in Uttar Pradesh, the artists prepare dolls using wood. Over the years, the variety of materials and mechanisms used for making dolls have increased tremendously. Right? We all have been observing that the material and the mechanism with which dolls are prepared today, they have increased tremendously and drastically built in musical boxes and mechanical devices that make dolls walk and talk have changed the way we think of dolls but probably the first doll was just a bunch of twigs now children you must have seen uh, nowadays the dolls come in such a huge variety and they are so mechanical. There are musical boxes, they can walk, they can talk, they can give you instructions, right? So they are no more just the bunch of twigs. The first dolls were just a bunch of twigs, but not anymore, right? Nowadays we see the technology has gone so advanced that we see in the market, the dolls come in variety of shapes, sizes, a variety of looks, right? And with all the mechanics, right? They can cry, they can laugh, they can talk to you, they can walk. So, these are the advancements of technology which has changed the way we think of dolls. Now, today, if you probably give a child a bunch of twigs and you say that this is doll, then I'm sure the child is going to throw it away. Okay? Because he knows that this is not doll. He has seen the variety of dolls available in the market. So, children, this is about the lesson dolls over the ages we have seen how dolls are used uh, for different purposes, how they are made using different material, uh, how different countries in the world uh, make use of dolls and within the country also how different states have their own different kind of dolls and their own different uses of the doll for religious purposes and other purposes right we also saw how archaeologists had excavated the dolls and they could find out that dolls were used about 5000 years ago also but maybe the form the material of the doll and the shape and all may be very different from what it is today. But then dolls were definitely used since ages. So children, I hope this lesson is clear to you. We will discuss more about this in our next session. Okay.
till then you please keep in uh, touch with this lesson keep reading it and we will learn more about it in our next session till then take care goodbye have a good day